Barbara's exclusive interview with Michael Jackson, who has been besieged by photographers all his life. His thoughts on Princess Diana and the paparazzi when we come back. Only one remains to talk about what it means to live under that kind of scrutiny. Since the allegations of child abuse made against Michael Jackson four years ago, he has been, if possible, even more pursued. And by the way, we checked with the district attorney in Los Angeles and in Santa Barbara and learned that there is no active case against Mr. Jackson today. Michael Jackson himself is notoriously shy about giving interviews, but on my way home from covering Princess Diana's funeral, I met with him in Paris to discuss the paparazzi and his personal recollections of the princess. When it comes to the paparazzi, Michael Jackson says he feels a bond with Princess Diana. The paparazzi have been a part of his life since he was a small child, the youngest of the Jackson Five. The he has been a superstar for three decades. At 39, he continues to sing and dance all over the world, and the paparazzi follow him all over the world. He has been on a European tour for the last five months, playing to over two million people. The night Princess Diana died, Jackson canceled his concert, but his last two concerts were dedicated to her. He doesn't pretend that she was a close friend. She was a fan. I met her first at a, um, a concert in London. She was um, very kind, very loving, very sweet. What did you two talk about? I wrote a song called Dirty Diana. And it's not about Lady Diana. It's about certain kind of girls <clears throat> that hang around concerts or clubs. You know, they call them groupies. The groupies, mm-hmm. I've lived in that all my life. You see these girls, they do everything with the band and the, you know, everything you can imagine. So I wrote a song called Dirty Diana. But I took it out of the show in honor of Her Royal Highness. And she, she took me away and she said, are you gonna do Dirty Diana? <laughs> I said, no, I took it out of the show because of you. She goes, no, I want you to do it. Do it. Do the song. So she had a sense of humor with you. Yeah, of course. And she told me she was honored to meet me. And I said, it's an honor to meet you. How did you hear about her death? Uh, I woke up and uh, <clears throat> my doctor gave me the news. And I fell back down in grief, and I started to cry. And so I, the pain, I, I felt inner pain. It was pain in my stomach and in my chest. So I said, I, I can't, I cannot handle this. It's too much. Just the message and the fact that I knew her personally. Then on top of that one, I said, there's another one. Real soon, I feel it coming. There's another one. It's another one coming, and I pray it's not me. Please don't let it be me. The Mother Teresa came. Are you psychic? Is that what you're saying? I don't want to say that, but I've done it before. And you thought it might be you? Yes. I've been living in that kind of life all my life. The tabloid press, that kind of press, not the press, the tabloid, the paparazzi, that type. I've been running for my life like that, hiding, getting away. You can't go that way because they're over there. And we, well, let's go this way. Pretend we're going that way and we'll go that way. So much say, hold on, stop. This person deserved their privacy. You are not allowed to go there. I mean, I go around the world dealing with running and hiding. You can't. I can't take a walk in the park. I can't go to the store. I can't. I have to hide in a room. You feel like you're in prison. What's been the most intrusive thing? What, what's the worst? They've always have been. Um, they, they go as far as the hiding in the places. So they'll slide a machine up under the toilet. You go, oh my God. They've done that. When you came into this hotel, you had to come in, or you felt you had to come in through the kitchen. 
I, I've been doing it for years. In many lobbies I've never seen the front door, never. Did you ever try to outrace the paparazzi? To outrace them? Yes. They follow you, they chase us on the scooters. Cutting in front of you? Yeah, and I, say, and I have to say to the driver, I say, slow down, I jump in. I say, it's gonna kill us. I say, slow down. I've done that many times. It's gonna kill us. So he jumps out of the car and yells at, the, at these people. You know, there is that argument that you rely on publicity to sell your albums for your concerts. When I approve you of something, it. yes. But you can't always control the press. You can't approve of everything. You can't invite them in again and again, and then at a certain point, close them out. Yes, you can. Well, how do you do that? What is that line? And by doing that, this is their time for this, and this you should not do. You should not say he's an animal. He uh, should not say he's Jacko. I'm not a Jacko. I'm Jackson. How do you feel when they call you? Wacko yeah, Wacko Jacko. Jacko. Where'd that come from? Well, Some English tabloid. I have a heart and I have feelings. I feel that when you do that to me. It's not nice. Don't do it. I'm not a Wacko. There are those who would say that you add to the attention. No, I don't. Well, the masks, the the mysterious behavior. There's, no, there's no mysterious behavior. There's a time when I give a concert. I like to have as many people who want to come can come and enjoy the show. And there's a time where you want to, you like to be in private when you put on your pajamas, go to sleep, <laughs> cut off the light, tick, ding, and lay down. That's your private space. If you go in the park, I can't go in the park, though. So I create my own park at Neverland, my own water space, my movie theater, my theme park. That's all for me to enjoy. I don't want this to sound insulting. I'm just going to be straight with you. But you are somewhat eccentric, to say the least. The way you dress, the way you look, it invites attention. The whole appearance um, as you are was larger than life, more extreme. You don't think that calls the paparazzi to you? No. No? No. Maybe I like to live that way. Maybe I like to dress that way. I don't want paparazzi, really. But if they come, be kind. Write the right kind thing to write. Michael, is it the journalist's role or the press's role to be kind? To be kind? Because the press also sometimes has to look into things, uh, be tough. You can't always be kind. What, what you saw, what happened to Lady Diana? You tell me. There should be some boundaries, some kind of way. The star needs some space. Give him a chance to relax. He has a heart. He's human. You canceled the concert you were about to do when you heard of Diana's death. Yes. And when you finally did a concert, you dedicated your concert to her. What did you say? In my heart, I was saying, I love you, Diana. Shine and shine on forever. Because you are the true princess of the people. And in words, I did not say it, but I said it for three minutes and showing a big picture on all the Jumbotron screens and the Sony big, huge screens. And her picture was there, shining, and the crowd went bananas. <laughs> I played the song Smile uh -huh. and Gone Too Soon. Give us some of the lyrics if you can. Shiny and sparkly and splendidly bright, here one day gone one night gone too soon michael jackson says he wants to keep the paparazzi away from his infant son but after the baby was born he sold pictures of him to the tabloids what was he thinking you'll find out as barbara continues with michael jackson after this Son, what's a famous father to do? Then, a shocking sight. News 2020 continues. Once again, you downs. In December of 1996, Michael Jackson married Debbie Rowe, his second wife, and last February their son was born. An event that whipped the tabloid media into a frenzy, and the baby is now also a target of the paparazzi. 
More now of Barbara's exclusive interview with Michael Jackson. You have said, I grew up in a fishbowl. I will not allow that to happen to my son. Yet when your son was born, you sold pictures to the National Enquirer and to other European papers, right. tabloids. Why did you do that? Why? Why? Because there was a race. There were some illegal pictures out. Illegally, somebody had taken pictures of a baby for millions of dollars. They said, here's Michael's son. And it wasn't, as I remember. It wasn't. So I took the pictures of the baby, said, they're forcing me to get his picture. There's helicopters flying above us, flying over my house, flying over the hospital, um, machines and satellites all over the, even the hospital said, Michael, we've had every kind of celebrity here. We've never had it like this. This is unbelievable. And so I said, and I didn't So rather than, in, in a sense, what you're saying is, what you did was to get them off your back. Yeah. Now they want to do it again, and I don't want, I don't, maybe I don't want to show him to the world like that. I want him to have some space where he can go to school. I don't want him to be called Wacko Jacko. That's not nice. They call the father that. That isn't nice. Right? You said you don't want your, your child to be called Wacko Jacko's son. How are you going to pre prevent it so they don't do it to him? That's the thing. That's the idea. Maybe you should come up with a plan to help me. You're his daddy. There you go. Well, they created that. Did they ever think that I would have a child one day, that, is, that I have a heart? It's hurting my heart. Why pass it on to him? Do you like being a father? I love it. Are you very involved with him? Yes. <laughs> Do you want more children? <laughs> yes. You have been in the spotlight since you were a baby yourself. Yes. If your son showed talent, by the way, does he show any talent at nine months? <laughs> well, I'll tell you this much. Um, he, when he's crying, to keep him from crying, you have to do one thing. What? I have to stand in front of him and dance. Really? Yes. And he stops crying. His tears turn to laughter. And he starts happy. He smiles. And do you do your moonwalk with him? Yeah, I, I do all kind of move. <clears throat> You move, and then he... <laughs> and he stops crying. He stops crying? Stops you crying. must do a lot of dancing. <laughs> I do a lot of dancing, yeah. Michael, if this little boy says, Daddy, I want to go on the stage. <laughs> After what you've gone through? <laughs> hey, hold on now. <laughs> hold on. If you do go that way, expect this, expect that, expect this, expect that. <laughs> You'd lay it all out. I'd lay it all out. That you're gonna get all this and all this and all of this. Are you ready to do that? He says, "Yeah, I can't wait. Go and do it better than I did it." But know what you're in for. Know what you're in for. Our interview was over. We had told no one it was happening, nor had the Paris Hotel. But when Jackson tried to sneak out through a back door, he found a huge crowd already waiting. Boy, it doesn't take long. <sighs> Barbara, we know now that Diana did not have adequate protection on that last day. What kind of protection did Michael Jackson have? Well, we saw at least four bodyguards, and, and he needed them. And by the way, I talked with a female superstar who told me that when she goes out, she has four bodyguards at least, and a car in front of her and a car behind. That's what they need, really, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, and, it, unfortunately it is. So he's, now, you told me that he told you why he only wears one glove. Yes. What's behind that? Well, he has a sense of humor, as I think you could see. He said, why one glove? Cooler than two. <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you.